This video provides instructions on how to count cells using the tripan blue exclusion method. When handling cells, use aseptic, sterile techniques. The cells need to be diluted at a 1 to 10 ratio using the following formula. 7 parts medium or buffer, 2 parts tripan blue, and 1 part cells taken from the 50 mm conical tube. When combined, the cells and medium should be mixed and incubated at room temperature for one minute. After the one minute incubation, mix the cell suspension to ensure an even distribution. The next steps will outline cell counting. The following steps must be done quickly to prevent cell death induced by tripan blue. With the cover slips situated evenly, apply a 10 microliter aliquot to each chamber of the hemocytometer and place it on the microscope. Under a 10x magnification, count the viable and dead cells in the four corner squares of each chamber for a total of eight squares. Use a cell counter to tally the number of viable and dead cells. On a worksheet, write down the total viable cells, total dead cells, and total cell count. Each chamber will contain four corner squares to count. A total of eight squares will be counted. This is a graphical representation of what the entire counting grid looks like within one chamber under a 4x magnification. To ensure an accurate cell count, use the limit lines on the hemocytometer. The limit lines are the three lines that surround each corner square. In this diagram, the darkly shaded circles represent cells that are counted. Cells that are within the limit lines are counted, and cells outside the limit lines are not counted. Note that cells are counted if they touch the center limit line. Start the count in the top left-hand corner and follow the arrow. The cells that are blue are dead. Cells that are not blue are viable. Count both chambers, so eight squares in all. Tally the viable and dead cells and sum them for a total count. Cell counting worksheets can be found in the resources section at bioivt.com. Divide the number of viable cells by the total number of cells, then multiply by 100 for percent viability. Refer to the instructions for use guides for more information on reconstituting or plating cells and determining the appropriate cell concentration. If you have questions, please contact BioIVT Customer Service.